Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are all having a great day. I just wanted to quickly shout out the fact that I'm still, I still have a cold, so I'm a little bit nasally, a little bit out of breath. But anyway, there's that. Um, today's video is super fun because essentially we're doing top 20 beauty products under $20. But for this video, my video, you're only gonna see my top 10 picks. And then my friend Natalie from Flower Bomb 31, she's gonna be doing her top 10 picks. So my 10 hard 10 equals 20 under 20, which sounds a lot cooler than top 10 under 20. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you guys are not already subscribed to my girl Natalie from Flower Bomb 31, you have to go check her out. She always has amazing recommendations, but I'm not gonna lie, it kind of sucks watching her videos because you get flower bombed. <laughs> Basically, that means she's going to force you or really make you want to go buy stuff. Uh, so have your credit card ready. <laughs> so yeah, after you check out my video and see my top 10 products for under $20, definitely check out the description box down below and go check out her video to see what her top 10 under 20 is. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. First up, I have this Sephora foundation. It's from the Sephora brand product. It is the 10 hour wear perfection foundation. Comes with a pump. This is retails for $20 on the mark. This is such a beautiful long wear medium to full buildable coverage foundation and I don't know why other people don't talk about it. Maybe they just don't know about it, but it is such a, an amazing foundation. If you are new to my channel and you haven't heard me chirp constantly, I feel like, about my dry skin, I do have dry skin. So this is very satisfying on my dry skin. I Ideally, I prefer it in the summertime, spring and summer, when it's not as super cold outside and my skin is extra, extra dry, but it still does work on dry skin. I'm actually wearing it today, but I did have to mix it. If I'm not self tan, I do have to mix it with a white foundation. And that's the only downside is the color line. I, I think they have a really decent color line. They just don't have, it's my dog barking, sorry. They just don't have a, like a pale yellow undertone shade for myself. So the shade that I have is light number 20 and they do have Y for yellow undertone, N for neutral, and P for pink undertone. So that's super, super helpful. But I just think this looks beautiful. It does last all day long and definitely something to check out right at $20. Amazing price point. Sticking with complexion products, next I have this Clinique Line Smoothing Concealer. And this one is $18.50. This is such an amazing full coverage but not cakey concealer that just needs more love. It's just, it's phenomenal. And I have mine, I have a few different shades, but the shade that I kind of switch back and forth between when I'm fair is shade moderately fair, and then I have the light shade. So this is just the one I grabbed, which is the number three moderately fair. And I actually use these for my under eye brightness. I feel like it's a corrector and concealer in one just because of the tone. It is more of like a pinky, kind of like a pinky uh, peachy tone to it. It is just an adult foot applicator. These are just like, I can't even think of another word to describe these except amazing and so affordable and so worth checking out. They do crease, but all concealers pretty much crease on me. So I just set it with a powder and I'm good to go. So Clinique Line Smoothing Concealer Love. Next on the list is another concealer that has totally stolen my heart. And it is the Bare Minerals Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. I have mine in the shade Fair. This is just another doe foot applicator like that. And this stuff is full coverage for me. It works amazing. Super lightweight, super satisfying under the eyes. Both of these concealers, the Clinique and the Bare Minerals, do not leave the under eyes looking dry or, you know, cakey or anything like that. They're just, they're just outstanding. And if I had to pick a favorite out of the two, I honestly don't know which one I would pick. They're both phenomenal. The Bare Minerals is $20 and another, another just like a side note, but another favorite concealer for the under eyes for me is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which is around $30. So those three are my top three favorite and they're kind of like all tied for first place. They're pretty amazing. All of them are. Next on the list is this lip liner. This is by A Cosmetics. It is the Your Lips But Better Waterproof Lip Liner Stain. 
And this specific one I have in the shade called Blushing Nude. It's what I'm wearing on my lips and then I have MAC Modesty lipstick over it if you're curious. But it's just like basically a a nudie, a little bit of like a nudie beige paint color, but I like all the colors and it's just kind of, got this hair in my face, it's just kind of this the formula and the product in general that I love. If you find a shade that you love, definitely go for it. This is so creamy, it goes on so nice and if you fill out your, or fill in your entire lips with this and you put a product on like a lipstick or a lip gloss on over it, as that lipstick or lip gloss wears down, you will be left with the most beautiful lip color like stain underneath. This truly does stain the lips, so it's an awesome product for that and it just helps your your lip color that you put on over it like wear off more beautifully so it doesn't look spotty or anything like that. Like you just don't have to touch up as much. It's just a really awesome product and this is right at the $20 price point. Oh, and it oops. It does have like a little sharpener on one side. I don't really use that, but it is a uh, retractable one that you just click up like that. So I wish they had more colors, but they don't. I think they have like six colors to choose from. So definitely grab a color that you like and I don't think you'd be disappointed. Next up, I have this Sephora collection brand bronzer. It is just called the bronzing powder. The shade specifically that I love the most, well, the one that's in my favorites here today, is the shade number three called Los Cabos. The reason I love it, the color, is because it is the perfect neutral bronzer. It's not too warm, it's not too cool, it is just perfect. I can use it and I'm pretty sure if you have fair skin like myself, light or medium skin, you can definitely use it as not only a bronzer but a contour at the same time. And for me, that's not always an easy product to find because I feel like usually I'll have to get a cooler tone bronzer, or excuse me, a cooler tone contour and then a warm tone bronzer to get it to look right. But this just looks beautiful, natural, and I just love it. It's so like buttery, creamy, and good stuff. And I wish I had this on my face today. I was totally gonna wear it, but I honestly, I just forgot and I put on my Hula bronzer instead. So I apologize for that, but definitely an awesome bronzer to check out. They have other colors. So if this color specifically is not for you, I can still definitely recommend the formula of this. And these are $17. Next up, I have a brow product by Clinique. This is the Just Browsing Brush On Styling Mousse. And what this is, is like a little, a little applicator like that, a little tiny, like a super tiny spoolie that makes it just perfect for brushing on the brows. Now this product is going to kind of tint the brows and make them appear a little bit fuller. However, super important, you're probably not going to love this product if you don't have a lot of brow hairs to work with. In that case, I would recommend a different kind of product like a pencil or a powder. Um, but if you do have somewhat you know, actual brow hairs to work with and you just like them a little bit more defined or a little bit more groomed or polished looking, this is the easiest thing to just brush on. In my opinion, it is a dupe, but so much better. It's not a dupe. What I'm trying to compare it to is the Benefit Gimme Brow, which I do like that product and it's very similar in the fact that it kind of like will latch on to your, to your actual natural brow hairs and make them just look fuller and plumper. But a couple reasons why I like this one better, it's a lot cheaper. This one is $16.50 and they have more colors to choose from. I feel like the two colors that the Benefit Gimme Brow offers are just way too ashy. I think they have like a light, a light medium and then a medium dark color. Like the, it's two, like one shade is light medium, the other shade is medium deep or something like that. They're just so ashy and it's hard to find a good color match. Clinique, I think, has five or six different shades to choose from, so you can definitely find the shade for you. Amazing, super fast, convenient, and just naturally and just enhancing for the brows. It's beautiful. And then next, I have the L'Oreal. This is called the Revita Lift Moisture Blur Instant Skin Smoother Moisturizer. This I just use as a, as a makeup primer. It does add a little bit. It is that white color, but it you know, it blends in smooth, it's so silky, or excuse me, it blends in transparent and it's so like slippery and silky smooth, so very satisfying on dry skin, but I think you would like it unless you have super oily skin. In that case, I would just recommend the 
I think they have just a Revitalift like blur. It's not, it doesn't have the word moisture in it. Oh, before I forget to tell you, if you're shopping at Ulta or Walgreens, this is going to be on, or it's going to retail for $24.99. But if you do buy it at Target or Walmart, it is under $20. I think at Target, it's right at $19.99. And at Walmart, it is $17 and change. So just keep that in mind. It technically does make my list if you purchase it at Walmart or Target. But this just, it kind of softly blurs the skin. It's nothing dramatic or life changing, but it really just softens them and just kind of, you know, fills in lines and helps the makeup go on so much smoother. Um, I just love this stuff. I think it's one of those kind of hidden gem, like amazing products at the drugstore, even though it is like on the higher price point for a drugstore product, but still you're getting 1.7 fluid ounces for, you know, 20 bucks an amazing makeup primer and moisturizer although being really dry it's not enough moisture for my skin so I do have to prep or use an additional moisturizer and I just use this one as a makeup primer. Next I have a mascara by MAC. I feel like I talk about this all the time. I use it almost in every tutorial that I do. It is the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. This is a long wear. Uh, is it waterproof? I don't know if it's waterproof but it's very long wear and I use it exclusively for my lower lash line lashes it is like this really skinny brush so it's really easy to get in there it stays put it doesn't smudge or smear it's just an amazing lower lash line mascara it's good for the upper lash line as well I just like I mean it's not my favorite for the upper lash line it gives more of a natural look but ideal and perfect for the lower lash line and this mascara is $17 okay so next I have this product that I just love and I don't think I've heard anybody talk about it before it's a nail polish or a nail treatment and it's by the brand Julep it's called the oxygen nail treatment you know what and I think I I've had this for a while and this is just like a very sheer like jelly pink color baby pink color but I, I, I think I was watching QVC a couple months ago and they have different colors of the oxygen nail treatment now like a pearl or like a peachy color but I just have the oh the OG original one and I remember when this came out and they were training us about it it was actually when I worked at Sephora and it's supposed to be like makeup for your nails so it's a treatment and kind of like a very sheer ladylike pink color all all in the same time and I feel like such a poser because I swear I have my nails painted in like every video that I do but I just did not have time to paint them today. But this is a product that I like to use when I'm running really late and I just don't want to have my naked nails just because they are stained because I literally always have nail polish on my nails and that's why they're stained. But this just makes them look so polished, so just so like so good and so just polished is the perfect word. And you don't have to do a base coat, the color and then a top coat. You just do, I just do two thin coats of this and it literally looks like a jelly, like almost like a gel nail polish. It looks kind of thick in a good way and just shiny and polished. Like, let me keep repeating myself is the perfect way to describe this. And this guy by itself is $18, but I'm sure like on QVC you can buy a set, but at Sephora it is $18. Definitely recommend checking it out if you just like a natural, more, you know, pinky nude nail color that's also treating your nails while it's making them pretty. <laughs> All right, you guys, I think this is my last product. So this is the Bumble and Bumble BB Pret a Powder, equal parts dry shampoo, style extender and volume in a pinch. So technically this is the full size and the full size is $26, give or take. But I know for sure you can get a deluxe sample size. It's not even a sample size. It's just like a smaller version of this at Sephora. For $12. So that's the one that's technically in this video because I've been using this one for over a year and I'm only like halfway gone and I use I use it like almost every day and I use a lot of it. So basically short story really long <laughs> that little $12 size that I'm trying to tell you guys about will be it will get it will last you a really long time. So anyway this is exactly what it says dry shampoo it soaks up the oils style extender in volume in a pinch. I Literally, like, okay, so today I just showered and my hair kind of air dried and then I blow dried whatever was still wet. But I, I generally like my hair to be air dried just because it's more gentle. I will put this in my hair. I'll show you what it looks like. It's just like a powder. 
I use this in like all my hair tutorials because I just love it. <laughs> anyway, I swear when I use this, I can go so many more days longer without shampooing in between as if when I didn't use this on freshly washed hair, my, I would have to do my hair more often or wash my hair more often and style it. It just is like a magical powder. I honestly don't know what it is about it that makes it a style extender, but it just does. As far as volume, you can kind of go like that and it gives you a little bit of volume, but what I love about it is it also allows you to take like a teasing comb and it helps you to back comb it and the back comb holds a lot better. And this stuff is gonna be ideal for anybody with fine flat hair like myself. That texture of hair that's just so slippery and just fine that it's hard to get any grit and any just volume in the hair. The other main thing that I love about this print a powder is that it doesn't leave that gummy residue nasty product buildup filling in your hair. After I wash my hair, I don't want my hair to feel like nasty and dirty, like I want to wash it again. I know I can get amazing volume if I use those kind of gritty, nasty feeling product, whoops, products, but I would rather have boring flat hair with no product buildup fill, but this actually is the best of both worlds because it allows me to get the volume, the style extender soaks up extra oils, and I just use it every day in between shampooing, not only on the first freshly washed hair day, but I just use it in between. It's just amazing. You have to check it out. Especially if you have fine flat hair, you will, I mean, I'd be shocked, shocked <laughs> if you were disappointed in it. All right, you guys, so those are my top 10 under $20. You have to go check out Natalie's video to see what her top 10 under 20 are, and I will have that linked right at the top of the description box, so go check it out. If you're not subscribed or if you don't know of Natty, Natalie from Flower Mom, you have to go subscribe. You will not be disappointed. She's so funny and just so, like, true to herself and... Girlfriend has some great product recommendations and I apologize in advance if she makes you want to go spend a couple hundred dollars on makeup and beauty products because that's usually what happens when I watch her videos. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know if you have any like of the same similar like favorites around the $20 price point and let me know what some of your favorites are around that $20 price point so I can definitely go check those out. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching and just taking the time to like hang out and watch my video. If you are new from Natalie's channel, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you will subscribe so you can check out my other videos. Have a great day guys. I'll see you later. Bye.